tested to the limit as they mature. Their strength is their blood bond. Will they survive this rite of passage and win a kingdom of their own? This is the Lion Brotherhood. The stampede exposes a loner, and the lionesses react. The mothers are fearless, driven to control and conquer. So Tao attempts his first jump on, risk-free. On the rump, he's away from immediate danger. Banda feels safer behind a tree. His practical will come later. When they get the buffalo down, Tao helps at the sharp end. His instinct to strangle is appropriate, but he lacks the strength. When reinforcements arrive, he realizes he's in over his head. Better let the experts do this. It takes the combined bite force of two adults to finally squeeze the life out of the buffalo. With a buffalo dead, horns and hooves are no longer a danger. It's what Band has been waiting for. And then, more good fortune. A reed buck in the wrong place at the wrong time. The pride females make it look easy. In an instant, there's an appetizer on the menu. More than enough for everyone. The brothers are accustomed to this endless supply of food. While Banda gorges himself, Tao takes the opportunity to practice his suffocation technique. The antelope's head is a size he can manage. He clamps its nose and mouth shut to block off access to air. It's how he'll kill buffaloes one day. But for now, he leave that to his elders. Food is the mother's responsibility. Now 18 months old, Tao and Banda's focus is hunting. And they pick up the subtleties of stalking buffalo by watching the lionesses. They control the pace of the hunt. Understand that measured calm must balance the energy of an ambush. They hang back on purpose and study the herd for weak spots. Perfect. A straggler, and he's injured. They move into attack positions. Lionesses and cubs are now a single unit. Their adrenaline-fueled onslaught catches the bull off guard. And the support of the cubs gives the lions a weight advantage. Within seconds, they wrestle him down. Both brothers are now experienced enough to help on the kill. Banda stops the bull from kicking the rest of the pride. Tao 
Owl smothers his cries before the herd can attempt a rescue mission. With so many females around, they both practice without pressure. And when it gets too hard, there's always a mother to take over and deliver the suffocation bite. Markers in her urine confirm she's in heat. But then something different hits his nose. The pride male. Their female belongs to him. There's no way to avoid a battle. And now it's a pride takeover. The lioness is too precious to lose. Tao reacts on instinct. But Banda's being strategic. One-on-one, -on -one, Tao and the pride male are evenly matched. Teamwork tips the balance for the brothers. When the pride male submits, Banda immediately targets their asset. It's an extraordinary long-distance sprint for a lioness. Over a hundred meters at full speed. I was amazed not only how fast, but also how far she ran. But that night I also came to realize that hunting is certainly not the only challenge she faces here on the plane. It's over in seconds, an almost merciful end for the struggling mother. This is a big kill for Lady. It will feed her for days. The cow is silenced quickly, but its bleating during the birth may have been heard. Lady tries to drag the heavy pregnant carcass into the cover of taller grass. But it's too late. She's been discovered. Elated with the easy kill, Lady toys with the carcass like a kitten oblivious to the threat that closes in around her. By the time she hears them, she is surrounded. Ominous calls lure her away from the kill once again. As she wades out to meet the challenge, the hyenas seize their opportunity. 
coming in from all sides. The thieving horde makes off with the carcass and tears it apart in true hyena style. But Lady will not be defeated so easily. Unlike the calf, this kill is worth a fight. She may be alone, but she is still a large, fearsome lioness. It's 12 hyenas to one, but despite their numbers, the hyenas cower. She eats alone on the carcass as a dozen hungry eyes watch and wait in the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> 